is the third round of the Italian Team Chess Championship. My team and I lost the first and the second game of the second round, and we are fighting against the Vector Session. This time though, I'm playing against the Skdunk player I played uh, in this tournament, and is rated 1862 kilo point, which is quite a lot considering is almost 400 points higher than me. And by the way, I don't think this is my rating, it should be higher, also because in Rapid I'm 1700 federated. But, you know, I'm not used uh, to classical and every time to play, and every time I play such long time, I get tired really fast and I lose because I'm becoming really stupid. But this was a really helpful tournament for me because I learned a lot of things. So let's start with the game. So. I'm also playing with black, like, yeah, why not? He's a fucking beast. <sighs> but, you know, let's see, let's see, let's see. He played the fourth, which is okay. It's the first time in this tournament I get to play something with the fourth. I'm a civil slam player and I usually play the fourth. I mean, usually I play or knight f6 or the fourth, but. Almost the fourth every time I changed. I keep changing opening against the fourth because I still don't know what to do. But I, I like the SMS lab honestly. And he played this move. So this move is not common at all. A lot of people are going to say it's bad. I mean, which is kind of though it's bad, but is a pretty good uh, surprise in the opening and. You need to know the theory because otherwise you're going to be in trouble. So I wouldn't say this is a bad move. It's not losing at all. I mean, black is already better because white can place it for But don't worry, it's not lost. So I play knight f6 because my plan is to develop the knight, develop the bishop on f5, play e6 and... Put the bishop uh, on the 6 probably and then castle. And he also played this annoying move. I mean, should be like the main line of the Chigorin variation, I guess, because this is the Chigorin. And it's quite an annoying move because he's threatening to take and damage my pawn starter and I'm going to play something I don't know too well. So I play d6. And now I think he could also take because I'm wasting a time with the queen. And the queen should be misplaced. But I mean, it's fine if he takes, there is no problem. And here he played e4, yeah, which is quite a good move. And this guy was a really aggressive player. I really like his style, is really similar to mine. Uh, trying to play tactical. I mean, I usually am a bit more solid at the start and then I'm, I'm mad, but yeah, I really like his style. Um, now I took and he took and I played e7 and yeah, I was happy because we actually transpose in a line of the French defense and <laughs> I shouldn't be happy though. I mean, I was happy because this is a line I knew and I played, but every time I played, I, mm, I lost. So I shouldn't be happy about playing that. I mean, if you know that playing this line, you lose, try to play something else. But yeah, I was scared about playing something I didn't know. So just decided to play this, which was a mm, mistake. A mistake because I mean this is theory it's a mistake because I can't play this line now the best move I know is to play pawn takes on f6 but come on I I don't want to play this stuff so I took with the bishop which is I mean it's still playable it's still theory but the problem of this opening is that the black is going to get destroyed you have to defend it like a god it's so complicated now what what I played. And knight on c6, which does not make sense at all. 
Honestly, I don't know why I play that. You want to play C5 in the future, you can't do that now. Obviously, you don't want to waste the time with the bishop because you're going to get really, really destroyed. I guess B6 is a logical move. What about B6? Yeah, it's logical. But I would also say that playing knight on D7 should be at because now I can actually play C5. Yeah, I mean, it's good, it's, it's decent, it's decent. And the plain item C6, which is stupid, doesn't make sense at all. This pawn is not going to be a target, I never, because it just cast long. And now I just lost the time moving the bishop. I mean, it's playable, but why? Why am I going to do this? It's going to destroy me. And yeah, he played this, not blundering a pawn, obviously. And I thought a lot of time about taking this pawn or not. And I decided not to take this pawn because if I take, he has a really annoying move like queen on f4. And I don't know, I feel like I'm much worse. I'm going to get this guy. He's going to play h4, h5, discovery check to the queen, this knight. Is in trouble. If I take this knight, he's going to take with the pawn and bring the rook on the g file, and I'm going to get this guide. So I decided not to take the pawn. And this is why the computer thinks it's a blunder, uh, also because I'm really, really passive and I'm going to lose. So my opponent played knight on e5. Computer says that is inaccurate. Why? Maybe this was better. Because I can take the pawn, I guess. And what was the right move? Sit me. Sit me? Oh. Come on, stock fish. <sighs> How can you say that this is the best move? You're going to destroy black? Yeah, let's yeah, play sit me because I'm stupid as computer. Fuck you, stock fish. Yeah, he played this move, is reasonable, I mean, reason more than this move. Yeah, fuck you. It's, it's, it's a really good move, it's a really good move. So, I played h6, thinking. No, I mean, thinking, I'm, I saw, honestly, so he played h4, and I saw this move. And I calculated this move before. When he played this, I calculated the h6 line. So, he played h4. Because, yes, this is a common pattern. But this time, I thought, it wasn't the same thing as usual. Sorry, I, I can't speak today. I can't speak today. Because, usually, you can bring the queen on the age file you know and this the black but this time he really couldn't so i thought for about half an hour so i was already stupid because i thought for half an hour and i took the knight now if you let the computer think it's going to go um, much higher, I think. Now it's plus four, but yeah, now it's plus five. I, I think it's plus seven, something like that. But don't worry, the game lasts uh, so much longer than this. Mm. He took. And I saw this, I saw this line. And when I was calculating the line, I was like, yeah, there is no problem. Uh, so if he wants to win, he has to bring the rook on h8 or h7, so he needs to rook, because, I mean, he's going to waste too much time with the queen, that's what I thought, so I can just play g6, if I play, <laughs> what the fuck is it? It's not, a, I mean, I, I thought this was, the best move on this position, I mean, the position is lost, but the G6 
f5. So I play g6 because I was like, now is going to play rook on h6. I also saw this. So now I play king on g7. He bring the rook on h1, and I calculated all of these. I and I just play rook on g8. And how can you win? If you check me, I just run. So if you check me, I just run. Not going to lose, and I still going to lose. Still going to lose for the reason because I blundered so bad in the calculation. I blundered that now he has queen on f4. And queen on f4, I don't think is a, an easy move to see because this does two things. What the pressure um, on, on the king on the f7 pawn, but most importantly, can go there and it's not easy to stop. It's not easy to stop at all. And also does another thing, he pinned the pawn if I put the king there and yeah, I blundered it, all of this. And I have a problem with the queen is really hard to calculate the queen. You, you can blunder a queen move really easily, even uh, in puzzle it's so hard to see the queen because can go wherever she wants. So yeah, it's kind of hard to see. So. I played queen on e8 for the reason because I want to support this pawn because I see that he want to check me and I have to put the queen on f8 and then he can, uh, he can suck whatever he want. So it was like, yeah, I play queen on e8, I've landed it. I'm much worse, but maybe I'm not losing, so I played this move. Which also has another purpose that you are going to see. And he took the pawn. Why? And yeah, I saw I saw this move after he played this, and that's why this move was so strong because he has all the tactic in the world is plus sixteen. And the the game still kept going for, for a while. And you can take, you can take, because if you take, it's, it's mating one. You just mate, you can take. So I move the queen on uh, the king on f8, but now he has move like this. I, mean, I play this right, yeah. Um, he has the uh, on h7 with all the threats on this pawn, and I played. Queen on e1, e8 instead of bishop on e8 because I saw that I could bring the knight on d8 in order to defend the, the pawn. He's mating eight. Yeah, um, he's mating nine. Sorry. Uh, so let's see why. Let's see why. If I take, no, you take. But we shouldn't be taking. I think he's mate because he just has queen on h4. And how can I stop this? What if I play queen on h4? Mm, I have to be careful though. So it says, look on h8 and I think then followed by queen on h4 because if I play queen on h4 now, it's going to take the bishop. It's not even going to take the bishop because there is this. No, oh, so yeah, I, think, I mean, this is good. I mean, every move was really good there, and he actually played the best move, he actually played uh, rook on um, h8, and I can't take it because if you take with the rook, I'm going to get this guy, he's going to take the queen and whatever they want, so I played queen on uh, king on g7, and he's mating 6, and I think I saw, I saw the mate at uh, this point, we kept going because he, he blundered it. Um, Yet, so computer is saying queen on e5, and I, I don't remember if I saw this, but I saw something with queen h4 that was really strong, maybe not now. 
Yeah, now, now, now I saw um, Queen on age four and it was winning. I calculated this. I saw, I saw the mate. You can't stop this. You can't totally stop this. Um, what can you do? If you take, there is check. King moves. Mm, there is uh, check. King goes there and what? Ah, check, check with, check with the knight. Is going, is going to get. Disc died. So you can't take, you can't do really anything. And my plan is just to mate you in every possible way. But he didn't play this. He played Rook on EJ8 and I lost the queen. So yeah, I mean, he's still completely winning, but uh, he, had, he had the mate. So we kept going. For a while, I mean, there isn't too much to see now. Is is just him that is going to destroy me? I kind of want to resign, but at the end of the day, he sucked a knight, and so basically, I have um, a knight and the rook for the queen, which is not so bad. The fact is that he's completely winning because I mean, he's I'm too passive. And he has this past pawn, which I've beast. But I kept going for a while. In fact, as you can see, he's losing some advantage. But because, honestly, we both were so tired. This game went on for hours. We, went, we were so tired. We missed a lot of things because, yeah. It was <laughs> such a painful game to play. And now, as, as you can see, there is queen F infiltration, whatever. I mean, I tried to calculate everything. I, I, it's not even a blunder, uh, but I mean, I, I saw this. You can't stop this queen, it's so strong. And uh, I'm not able to coordinate my pieces because the rook and the knight can coordinate too well. I mean, the knight is, is low piece. It's a really slow piece. And now I think I also didn't blunder this move. I think there was a tactical reason, but maybe I'm just, I'm just dumb. What was the, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, there was just knight there. And I mean, this position is tricky because if, he puts the queen, um, mm, mm, mm. let's say, let's say there, he's going to blunder the fork, let's say. And I also had idea to suck the rook, the king takes, and I have the knight somewhere, and I can uh, fork uh, the king and the queen somehow, so I still had some hope, but I mean, I, I just played for clicks at this point, and my opponent even though he didn't play it perfectly, he played really well and I I had zero chance to, to survive this. I mean, he's going, he's going to make a queen, he's going, he's going to win in two seconds. <laughs> he take every pawn and now I, I, I didn't actually design, we kept going for a bit more moves, but I, I decided not to write the moves because I mean, what, what, it was pointless. And also I was a bit pissed off, but in this game I learned something. Don't go into an opening that you don't want to play because you don't know how to play it, even though you played it. I in fact uh, stopped to play that opening, uh, should be the Barna variation of the French. I stopped playing that and I now I'm playing something else which, which I like much more and as you can see I'm losing but I'm also learning important things so at the end of the day it's okay. In order to get better you have to lose the master, lost more time than these students. So that's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, so stay tuned and see you soon.